Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of our testing with Spring Boot. In the previous video, we have talked about how we can do some basic tests for our user service that we created. So we have created this hello world test where we test uh, just uh, some string. So we do some assertions on it. We assert that it's not null and we assert that it's equal to some value. In this video, we are going to be um, diving a bit more into the assertions. We're going to take a look at how we can do assertions with lists and how we can do assertions on objects. Let's start with the objects ones first. So the first thing that we want to do now is we want to create a new DTO. Let's name it something like user DTO. So for those of you who do not know, DTO is just a, it stands for a data transfer object. So it's just a plain Java class with some properties that describe a user. So um, let me create it and then I'll explain to you what it looks like and why do we have it. So here it is. Here is, it, uh, is uh, what we created. We have created a, a user type enum, which has uh, admin, moderator and a user. So these are the types of users that we can have. And we also have created this user DTO, which has some properties that describe a user. So like an ID, name, username, age, type. And we also have created a constructor uh, so that we can build an instance of this user object. And we have also created the getters for our properties. Now for the next step, um, let me just close all of this. Uh, we want to go to our user service and here we want to create some static list of some users. So just some data that we have something to work with. Uh, let me create them and then um, I can show you what we are going to be doing with them. So here's our list. So we have created the list of users. So this is something that you can imagine that comes from the database or something like that, but we don't have a connection to the database yet. So for now, we're just creating a static list of users. Uh, so they have uh, an ID, some name, username, uh, age, and also a type. Uh, let me change this to something else. So we have a type admin, moderator, and user. So all three types that we have created. Great. Now, what we want to do is we want to create a couple of methods and then basically test those methods. One that we want to create is a method where we uh, just return uh, a list of user names or just names, doesn't really matter. Or um, the other one could be the list of all users and the other one could be the list of uh, users that are ad either admin or a moderator. So let me create those lists and then, uh, yeah, we'll go to test them. So here are, here are our methods. We have the one to get all of the user usernames, which we uh, basically we just stream through the users. We map the username and collect it to a list. Same for the admin or mod users. We are uh, streaming through the users. We are filtering the ones that are of uh, type user and we are collecting the rest to the list. And the get all users just simply returns whatever we have in this list here. Perfect. Now let's, um, yeah, let's get to testing. So um, let's jump to our user service test. Here we have our test hello world test. So we can leave this uh, as it is. The next one that we want to do is, for example, uh, let's test this one get all users. So let's create a test uh, for get all users method. And in our test, we can fetch all of the users. Actually, let's test uh, first to get all usernames. So let's uh, change this method name here. And let's fetch all of the usernames. Yeah. So we have our uh, usernames here. The first thing that we want to do is we want to add a static import for this assertion so that we don't have to write it all over again. So um, uh, hitting Alt Enter when you have your cursor on this assertion spot, uh, you get this menu and then you can just add this uh, static import for this. And then you can just write simply assert that blah, blah. Perfect. Now, um, assertions with lists. We haven't uh, talked about that yet. Uh, the first thing that you would like to test here is maybe the size. Let's say uh, we know how many users we have, which we do know we have three users and we want to verify that we have three users. How do we do that? The first thing is, uh, as always, we start with assert that. And then we provide uh, whatever we are asserting on. So like names and to check the size, it's quite simple. We have has, has size and some number. 
as you can see it's quite simple so we are asserting that this uh, list of strings has size 3 if we would uh, run our test uh, it would of course pass because yeah it has three uses um, then uh, the next thing that you can do also is uh, for example, you know that um, or you expect in this list to have uh, some username. So you expect it to be on the first place. So you can do uh, something like um, dot, actually let's do it here, starts with and then. So we know that this user is the first one in the list. And if you do starts with, that's how you can check um, if this list starts with uh, this value. Uh, let's add something like, uh, for example, you are not expecting something. Let's say that you are doing some filtering on these names and you're not expecting some name. For example, um, you can do does not contain null. This is one good one also. You can do uh, this which basically checks that it doesn't contain any null values, which is good, but also does not contain, and then you can provide a value, like um, something that we don't have here, uh, whatever, something like this. So um, this should not be contained in this list, so we are not expecting it. If we run our test, it should again pass. And uh, just to make sure that this test doesn't always pass, we can actually put this here and run our test and it should fail now because uh, this list of course contains this one and as you can see our test passes and here you can see the result expecting so this uh, not to contain this but found this so basically it's saying yeah we have these values i'm expecting not to find this but i found it so yeah that's a problem um so let's revert this okay uh what else you could check there is a um nice method that you can use here uh, which says uh, contains any of and then you provide some values basically you would provide uh, multiple of them and this can this you can use for example when you have a list of something and you're expecting one or another you don't care really which one it is but one of them must be there so uh, let's see how we can do that and uh, yeah here it is basically you can say contains any of and then you provide some list of values so um, what we are expecting here is that our names our list of names contain either this one or this one and of course the second one is not there but still the test passes because it contains uh, this one but if you really want to check exact values um, you can actually just uh, let's go back to the users um, I can copy these names out and then I can show you how to do that. So you can say uh, contains um, exactly and um, if you go with contains exactly, there is contains exactly, uh, let's put this here, there is also contains exactly in any order, uh, let's put that here and there is also contains. So just contains, so let's put this one here and let's explain what they do. So contains exactly, um, basically you're, when you provide uh, this, you're expecting that this list contains only this element. So if I would run this, this would fail because this list does not contain exactly this one. Um, yeah, because it also has some other ones. So we can actually copy these and uh, paste them here so now we have contains exactly this this and this one thing also to note here is if you're using something like this so contains exactly you don't really need this one here uh, because um, or even this one because yeah of course it says, uh, starts with James Bond if you are using this one because yeah if you're using contain exactly and you provide three elements the list size will always be three so it must be three uh, it can be anything else so you don't have to do has size or even uh, starts with even this one is not uh, uh, needed this one you wouldn't also need and uh, not even this one basically you could do all of these uh, checks that we have here uh, with just this line but I'll keep all of them just so that you have them later on. 
Now, um, this one here does basically the same, except it doesn't care about order. So if I would um, copy the elements like this, you still have to provide all of them, um, but you, you don't have to provide them in any specific order that they are returned. So if they return in an order that's different than uh, this, but still the, all the elements are there, uh, the test will still pass because uh, yeah, it's, it doesn't care about it and contains basically just checks uh, if the value that you provided is contained inside of this so if i run our, uh, our test again uh, it should pass now so let's see and as you can see it does pass if i would uh, change on this one if i would move this element uh, to the end or something and rerun it uh, now it should pass should fail because yeah the order is uh, not uh, the same. So, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it says even here that it has the same elements, but not in the same order. At index zero was this, but blah, blah. So, um, the order is important here, but not here. Yeah, and here, what we do with the contains, if we con uh, we are checking if um, this uh, contains this one, you can also do the similar thing um, with some different assertions so let's uh, show that assert that something is in and then names um basically what this does it will yeah it's actually quite easy to read you're uh, asserting that this value is in this list so if you run test it should pass again um so it's the same way um as contains just uh, basically the, the opposite way around yeah so nothing nothing special here uh, hopefully this is uh, clear enough for you to understand. So this was our get all usernames method. Now let's test get our admins and moderators. Uh, or we could actually, hmm, yeah, let's let's do check all users first. So let's uh, show how we can do that. Test public void. So what we did here is we were doing it on a list of strings, but how would you do something like this on a list of objects, you know? So um, if we go user service, get all users, we get a list of user details. So it's, yeah, okay. And if I would say um, something like, let me just copy this. All users has size three. Yeah, that that works because yeah, of course it has size three. But um, what if I do this, for example? Would that work? No, it wouldn't even compile because yeah, we're providing strings, but here is a list of user details, so that doesn't work. So what you need to do here is you can say extracting basically you can extract or you can um, use only one of the values that you need or multiple of them depends what you want to do uh, let's say we want to do the usernames again you go dot extracting and then uh, from the user dto you can take get name which returns a string and then you can basically do any of this so whatever we did here so let's do just one doesn't really matter which one and rerun this test and this should pass because we have size 3 we are extracting the name and these are the names that are contained again all of the rules that we mentioned here are valid here so it's actually quite simple uh, you can also do uh, some matching on uh, all fields for example let me copy this and paste this here let's remove this because it's not important let's extract now the age and basically what we want to check here is, for example, that all of the users have their age um, greater than 20. How would you do that? So dot all match, and then um, you can see age, and age bigger than 20, which I think is true. If we jump here and then jump here, we have age 21, 40, and 46. So we go back, we rerun our test and it should still pass. 
but we can also uh, change this. Uh, let's say that we are expecting the opposite. We're expecting that everybody is younger than 20. And if we run it, uh, it should fail. So let's see what we have. Yeah, we are expecting that these elements uh, match something, but they do not. So it's actually quite a nice thing um, with this extracting because you can extract uh, some values here and then you can do some verifications on them. It's um, it's really nice thing. Um, yeah, let's then test our last method. Uh, let's create a new test. Public uh, void and yeah. So what we have here is we are basically going to do the the similar thing. Um, we have all admin or mod users, and we want to do some assertions on them. Let's uh, copy this, paste it here. We take this. We are expecting here a different size. We're expecting two because we know we have one admin and one moderator, so two. Extracting, uh, we can do, yeah, we can do some check. Um, let's extract, um, get type. And now, um, we can do a different thing here. So basically we are now, we, we are getting the type, which will be either admin or moderator. How do we do that check? How do we verify that it's one of those two? Um, we can do uh, something like contains exactly in any order. And then we provide user type admin and user type moderator. And if we run this, it should pass. Yeah, as you can see, it's actually quite simple. Um, yeah, that would be pretty much it, except maybe we could do one more thing. Let's create um, a list of, and then go all users get one, all users get zero and all users get two. So what we have here is another list of users, but it contains the, exactly the same elements as the list above because we just copy them and put them in a different order. How, how would you compare that? How would you verify that? So the, the, how do you do assertion that verifies that this list equals this one? It's actually a super simple thing to do. We go again, assert that as always, and then we give a first list um, or whatever. All users, we can do the opposite way also, um, has same elements as, and then copy of all users. And then if you run this test, it should pass. Um, basically, we are verifying here that this list has the exactly the same elements as this one. So they, if they have, they are equal. And um, you can also check different kind of methods here. There's like a bunch of them. You can check the size, uh, whatever is greater, is less. Is, there's like a lot of things here that I can't really cover, but I'm just giving you the, the basics uh, that you can take a look at. So hopefully this is um, good enough for you. If you have some questions, if you want to do something specific, but which you are not sure of how to do, uh, just let me know and we can, yeah, just try to do it together. Great, then I think uh, we'll end this video. And in the next one, uh, we are going to take a look at how we can uh, change the descriptions of the error messages that we have been getting if the, our test uh, fails. And also how we can handle exceptions, like what happens if um, a method that we call draws an exception, how do you verify that it will throw it, that it will not throw it, and yeah, stuff like that. But that will uh, we'll take a look at in the next video. So until then, I will see you in the next one.